So you welcome to another session of the ATU Library tutorial series. This particular tutorial is going to focus on dealing with incorrect citation and reference formatting with Mendeley. So basically it's all about maybe um, you have a particular document that you have prepared already and it seems like um, the referencing style um, is not in its proper shape or it's not correct. And um, instead of you doing it manually, we are going to use the Mendeley software to cover that like pretty easy. Yes. So, and moreover, maybe uh, you don't have the exact um, soft copy of that particular uh, article or that particular book that you acknowledge in your work. Therefore, making it very difficult for you to cite or for you to reference appropriately. It's like um, you don't have all these soft copies, but hey, you can get these information, push it to Mendeley and just pick the information from Mendeley to prepare your citation and references in a correct order. All right, so let's start with something. So we'll show you a sample document and that document, um, the reference list is not in its proper shape. We are going to use, um, you will spool some information from online, push it to Mendeley, then we start from there. All right, sure. So, we show you the sample document. Um, so this is the document that we have. All right, so that's what you are seeing over here. So this document actually, um, it's not, when you look at the reference style, uh, for instance, um, we want to put this reference style into the the APA, the APA style, but what you are seeing, what you are seeing over here, it's like um, this is not in its APA format. Yes, and um, there wouldn't be the need for you. Uh, some guys would like to come to view, uh, enable green lines rule and be shifting this thing um, so that we get an APA style. This is very tedious, you know, and you cannot be doing this. Um, assuming you have a, a reference list, let's say 50 or 60, are you going to do this? Uh, you are not going to get it accurate. So why don't you allow the software to do these things for you automatically? All right. So for instance, um, you already know that uh, your reference list, um, whatever uh, authors that we have over here must also have a, a corresponding or um, must be seen in the document. So yeah, so we have a, a FUMA. So we have a FUMA over here. Cool. So we just want to put this one in its proper shape. We don't want this. So how then do we go about? Assuming you don't have you don't have the soft copy of this uh, document, and therefore you cannot also push it to Mendeley. Yeah, it's like you don't have it, so you cannot push it to Mendeley. So what else can you do? So, um, first of all, let me create a folder because I like creating folder folders in my Mendeley desktop. So let's say, um, let's name this folder correcting correcting references. Yeah, correcting references. All right, so I have my folder by correcting references. Then let me move to my, uh, so we will be using Google Scholar to extract the information and we'll push it into Mendeley. Uh, so before we start using the Google Scholar, um, this is what I want to correct. So I just want to push or correct these reference lists to um, a proper APA format. So I don't have this particular, um, this document, I don't have the soft copy. So I can just uh, let's say I lose track of these of the soft copy. So I can just go ahead, um, copy the title. So let's say I copy this. Um, now go to my Google Scholar. Okay, then search. All right, so that is the article. So that is uh, our most important asset, uh, multidisciplinary, multi-level review of human capital valuation of research and practice. Okay, all right. Now, so um, let's see uh, this particular document uh, is not avail available for you to download. Yeah, the, the, this one is there for you to download, but let's see, we search for a particular article or we search for a particular material and we are not getting um, the full document. So you just go ahead and click on the site. All right, so when you click on sites, 
first one I click on site for you to show. So these are the format that will, these are some examples of um, uh, referencing style, but then um, if you want the site, if you want to cite this one in an end notes, um, there's a ref works, big text, but this is not what we are going to use actually. So just some information for you. So this is what it was. So go ahead and click on save. So when you click on save, um, it's like you are extracting some information from Google Scholar. So you have to give it a particular folder, let's say folder that you want this thing to be kept under. So let's say we want to create a new. So we are seeing that this one is for um, correcting references. All right, so click on done. All right, so my first one has been saved. Um, yeah, it has been saved under the library that I created that is uh, correcting references. So let's go back. Let's say, um, let me copy this one too. So um, up to this side, I'm interested in this one. All right, so let me come back to my Google Scholar. So I hit on OK. OK, examine the effect of employee empowerment team, teamwork and employee training on job satisfaction. Let's see. Let's see the full, OK, training on organizational commitment. OK, so that's the first one, this one, organizational commitment. All right, so let me click on Save. OK, so I want it to be under correcting ref. So I have what's done. All right. Cool. Now let's add um some couple of information. Okay. Let's say I want this one. Um okay. So let me pick this one. Um so go back to my Google Scholar, paste it over here. All right, so I have this one too, so I can go ahead and click save to my label that is uh, correcting ref, done. All right, so um, I have some three informations that I collected from Google Scholar. Now, if you think that you are done, you just go ahead and click on my library. All right, so my library, you have reading list. Okay, actually the first one, so we, we, we have reading list over here. Yeah. So the first one was not captured. So, um, okay, this one is an old one. All right. We use a correcting ref. Sorry, we use correcting ref. Okay. All right. So our, the label that we created was rather correcting ref, but not reading list. Okay, sorry. So this one is a different one. So we are using the correcting ref. So you realize that, um, the information that I captured, three information. So we have the impact of training. We have examined the, the effect of employee empowerment, our most important assets, assets. So these are the three information that we captured from Google Scholar, right? Okay, so we are supposed to push this information into Mendeley so that we, we can easily do the um, reference and correct our citations, assuming that it's not properly done. All right, so we click on export all. We click on export all, so export all. Now you have to choose. Um, we have the big text, we have the end notes, we have the refman, we have the CSV. Well, um, just click on refman, okay. So we click on that, okay. So we have citation.ris citation.ris actually i've downloaded some previous one that's why you are seeing into bracket one okay sure so now we go to main lane all right now make sure that you are in this particular folder so i created a correcting references and i want to generate the information like uh, the information that i collected from google scholar i want to place the information over here so I am actually here. That is the correcting references. Okay, sure. Now you have some couple of things over here that you can play around with it. All right, so we are going to use the 
the file tab that is we are going to concentrate on import import okay so you realize that uh going back to your browser look at the extension that is ris ris so when you come to your main link file import we have this ris all right so goes to your downloads this what you just extracted from or exported from google scholar you click on it open so the information comes over here all right um let me show my document details all right so when you click on this one you have the information over here click on this one you have the information this one you have the information now once you have the information, it means that you can go ahead and do your references and citations. So um, with this particular one, all right, so that's what we have, our most important asset. So assuming that we have our, so this one is for this, let's say it wasn't done properly. So uh, we can just, we want to do it again. Okay, so you are going to pick the information you are correcting this. Yeah, so this is what we are correcting. We are, we are not coming to do it over here, but we are. We have to correct it, or we have to start from the document itself. So we have to link it. We have to make sure that we also use Mendeley for the in-text citation before we generate the reference list. Okay, so we copy this. Let's say the author's name. All right. Now we go back to our web file. We click on references and say citation. Paste. All right. Actually, I have extracted. I already have one of them. One of the articles in my Mendeley folder. So after generating another information from Google Scholar, it's showing um two. So let me just go straight forward and choose one. Okay, so I have that. Cool. Now, you come down to, so let's say you have your references. Then you click on insert bibliography. All right. Now, what I have over here, You have to go and check. All right, so this is um, a seat edition. Uh, let me change this one to the seventh edition. All right, so that's what we have over there. So I have it over here. So that is it. So this is just something very cool for you to correct whatever you've done manually. Yes, and um, so you do this for all, you do this for all. So you just check, you check if this one, you go to Google Scholar, you just extract the information, you push it to Mendeley, and uh, you don't necessarily need to download the files again. Um, yeah, so if you have the reference list, just save as we were doing. So just go ahead and be saving. So if you are to go back, All right, so yeah, so you search for something, you save. Once you are saving, you give it a label name. You click on my library. When you click my library, my label name was correcting ref. And we just click on that, correcting ref, and click on export all to extract. All right, okay. So thanks for watching this section of AT Library Tutorial Series. Remember to subscribe to our channel.